the actress, who has played Coronation Street's Michelle Connor since 2006, has slammed claims that the show now needs to return to its comedy roots. The 41-year-old said the long-running drama was doing the same as all the other programs in Soapland, amid criticism for the boss for their dark storylines. Kate, 39, has been at Corrie for two years after replacing Stuart Blackburn, and said she is now excited to try something new in this week's OK! Magazine, Kim spoke of the changes behind the S as well as confirming her split from boyfriend Matt Baker. The former hitmaker started following the news of Kate's departure. Some people have said that Corey needs to return to its comedy roots, which is frustrating as there are still lots of comedy moments on the show. Kim continued, we're doing more high drama but that's true of all soaps. We need to move with the times and target audiences of all ages. You can't please everyone and the ratings speak for themselves. They're higher now than they have been for a long time. Kate has previously said in a statement to The Sun, I'll be forever grateful for this opportunity and all it has given me, but I'm also excited to try something new. The publication said Kate will now work on ITV detective series Bancroft, starring Sarah Parrish, 49 and Faye Marseille, 31. It is believed she will be replaced with Emmerdale Bossy and McLeod, who will start his new role in June. Meanwhile, Kim is now single. After going her separate ways from former Beau Matt, following her divorce from Jamie Lomas, she went on, sadly, the reports are true. We still care for each other, we'll stay friends and I'm sure we'll be a part of each other's lives in the future. Now we each just want to focus on our families, our work and our friends as we move forward. Kim was previously married to Jack Ryder between 2002 and 2009, before tying the knot with fellow actor Jamie three years later. In 2015, she started dating personal trainer Matt and they are believed to have paid £500,000 for a house in the country together last year. An insider told the publication, they wanted this to work out and have spent weeks trying to work through the issues but, sadly, it just wasn't to be. In the end, they both agreed it was for the best that they go their separate ways despite buying a house together so recently, they added. Matt has been working on opening a new restaurant while Kim does very long hours on set with Coronation Street, while also being a committed mum to her children. Read the full interview in this week's OK! Magazine. Out now. Coronation Street continues tonight at 7.30pm on ITV.